Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So today we're gonna talk about power chords. What are they and how can we play them? Now first of all it's very important to know what a chord is. A chord consists of multiple notes. That being two, three, four or even more notes. And we can already distinguish a power chord in the amount of notes it consists of. Because there are only two. That's a power chord only two notes. Now it's not just any notes that it consists of. More specifically it's the first and the fifth note of the key. But besides that, just know that a power chord consists of two notes. And as we have already seen practically all the basic chords, you know that we have major chords and we have minor chords. We can make all these chords power chords. And the only thing we need to do is leave out the one note that makes it major or minor. And then we have the power chord, from the basic chords at least. And then another thing, in power chords, we also use our index finger to put a bar over the strings, like we have seen in a lot of second and third positions of some chords, right? So let's take for example the A chord, which is the first one that we started off the series with. Uh, and the first position was right here. But let's go over to the second position on how to play the A chord. And if you don't know how to play the A chord in the multiple positions, you can check the link here somewhere above or in the description down below. But the second way to play the A chord is right here. And here we play all the strings. Now, the only note that makes this a major chord is the one that I'm pressing here right now with my middle finger on the third string, which is a C sharp. Alright, now if we just remove our middle finger, then it sounds like this. That's just the minor chord, we just lowered it from a C sharp to a C. That makes it minor, that doesn't make it a power chord. Now how do we make it a power chord? We hold the same position, but we only actually play the upper two or three strings from our chord in this position, which will be these two or these three, because the fourth and the sixth string are the same tone, but just an octave apart. And then what makes it actually pretty easy to make a power chord is that we only have to press down those strings and because I have my index finger here as a bar, I can actually just mute the rest of the strings by just holding my finger there and only pressing the upper string, and then we get the power chord. I can even try and play all the strings, but there is no sound there, because my finger is just holding them there. And that is an example of a power chord. So if we have the A chord, this is the power chord. But it could also be a minor chord, and the power chord of that. In the power chord you don't hear if it's major or minor and that is pretty handy. Now where do you hear this a lot, these power chords? Uh, it's pretty common in a lot of rock songs, a lot of distorted guitars where you can hear that and that is actually a pretty cool sound. Like when you first start off with playing the electrical guitar, one of the first things that you want to do is like play distorted. Play distorted guitar because it sounds cool, it sounds like rock music, right? And then power chords are used so much in there. Like for example, everybody knows Smells Like Teen Spirit from Nirvana. Those are nothing else but power chords uh, in the intro. Let me show you how they are played, like this. So there's no distortion on my guitar, but it doesn't matter. And you don't even hear if it's major or minor. And dependent on the key that the song is written in, the chord that you're playing could actually be a major or a minor, but we don't hear that. Not purely from hearing the chord, at least. So for every basic chord that we've seen in the second or the third position, we can make it a power chord. Let's take another example. Right? Let's say the G chord. The G chord is right here. But if we take the second position for that, we get here. Now, 
we just remove the middle finger, we don't need that. We only press down the upper three strings, or two, let's say, and we hold our index finger over the rest of the strings so they are muted, and then we get this. Which is still the G chord, but we can't say if it's minor or major, it's just the G chord, the power chord, G. Now for the G chord, let's go to the third way to play it, which is right here. Which is very hard to play clean if you want to play the whole chord. Now, if we want to make that a power chord, we just have to press down the upper three strings, which are these three, but instead of using my middle and ring finger, I actually prefer using my ring and pinky finger on the same strings. Doesn't really matter though, as long as you press them, then I just hold my index finger over the rest of the strings so that they're muted whilst I'm playing it. And this is the power chord. This is also a power chord from the chord G. Could be the power chord of the G minor as well. So that's basically what a power chord is. You could see it as a simpler version of a major or a minor chord. And it's used a lot in rock music as well. So guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget I have other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. But with and then and that's where we can and that's where we can and there and already and there already we can and with the power chord we can already uh, that it consists of now it's not now it's just now it's not just any notes that it's that it more specifically is the first let's say um, but besides of and so take for example and then the other and then another thing is that. We have in power chords, we use our, you can check the link in the is on the third string, on the third, on the third string. Now, if we just, now we stop, but we actually only, but actually we play because the, uh, and then but what? That is a, and that is exact. So if we have, so we have just, and, and that, and that is pretty like first, like first, uh, and then one of the, yeah. Uh, all right. So if we, all right. So let's for it. Um, let not from. If you want to play the whole, and then I hold the rest. Uh, we just have to. We just have to. You know. So that's actually base is for. Let's say. Uh.